Hello, it's Salimek. In today's video, we're gonna flush the radiator coolant and super clean the system and then fill it up with brand new radiator coolant. In my previous video, I showed how to check the radiator coolant with voltmeter. If it's anywhere close to 0.3 volt, the radiator coolant must be replaced. But on this car, we're not gonna test it with voltmeter. It's obvious the coolant changed color. We're gonna change it anyway. So for flush cleaning we're gonna need distilled water and it really depends on your car how many liters you're gonna need and how many times you're gonna flush it till the distilled water comes out clean. And also I'm gonna use flush plus cleaner from Freestone after the distilled water comes out clean. The product is not sponsored but we're gonna test it anyway and see how it's gonna work. So the first thing we're gonna start with is drain the radiator coolant. Usually there's a drain plug at the bottom of the radiator but on this car there is no drain plug so we're gonna remove the lower radiator hose and the upper radiator hose here is the lower radiator hose and here is the upper radiator hose we're gonna remove them both keep in mind before doing any work on the engine make sure the engine cold to touch and never open the radiator cap unless the engine cold to touch i got my drain pan ready let's remove the lower radiator hose Next, the upper radiator hose. It will help the air circulation and drain faster. This is the reservoir. Looks very bad, even though there was a coolant in the engine, not a tap water. Usually tap water does that, but clearly the coolant was bad quality. Let's put the upper and lower hose back and fill the radiator with distilled water and run the engine. All the hoses back on, we will fill the radiator with distilled water and run the engine for 2 minutes, not longer. We don't need the engine gets hot because we will drain it again. The reservoir at the right level, we're gonna start the engine. It's a good idea to turn on the heater whenever doing the flush cleaning so it circulates through the heater core. While the engine gonna run for 2 minutes, let's look at the old radiator coolant. Imagine if this stays in the engine, what happens to the water pump after a few years? Okay, it's been 2 minutes, let's turn off the engine and drain the distilled water. And we're gonna do it few times until we see the distilled water comes out clean. Okay, this is the second time we're gonna fill the radiator with distilled water and run the engine for 2 minutes and then drain it again. So I did the flushing process for 4 times with distilled water until I saw the distilled water came out clean. This is the 4th time of distilled water flush and it stays clean. Next we will add the flush cleaner from Pristone. And you can run the engine for 10 minutes for fast cleaning and 3 days of driving for super cleaning. And we will do the ultimate cleaning. For 3 days we are gonna drive the car. If your car's coolant capacity more than 12 quarts, you will need two bottles. In my case, I'm gonna need one. We will let the engine run till all the bubbles comes out and checking all the hoses that we removed before in case if there's any leaking. It's been 10 minutes, the engine running and all the bubbles came out and we are at the right level. Let's put the cab back on and drive the car for 3 days. Alright, it's been 3 days, looks like the flush cleaner did its job and the distilled water changed color. I didn't expect the dirt stick to the reservoir like that, but it's an easy cleaning I will show you in a minute. Let's remove the hoses and flush it with distilled water again like we did before. Pretty much it's gonna be the same process again. Mm -hmm. 
Let's remove the reservoir for cleaning. I will show you an easy way for cleaning even without using chemicals. Take a good look how it's now before cleaning. This is a mixture of rock and sand. Pour some in it with some water and shake it well and it cleans very good. And make sure to flush it bunch of times without leaving any small rocks inside the reservoir. This is how it looks after cleaning comparing to before cleaning without spending a penny. Okay, now we're gonna put everything back. The system flushed for four times before cleaner and twice after the cleaner. We will put the hoses back for the last time and fill it with the radiator coolant as it's mentioned in the manual. Here I'm using 50-50 mixture of red coolant and distilled water. You can also get a pre-diluted coolant as well, but I got the concentrated one. Okay, we are at the right level. Let's run the engine so all the bubbles comes out and refilled again to the right level. So let's recap what we did. We drained the old coolant and flushed with distilled water and added the flush plus cleaner for 3 days and flushed again with distilled water and then fill it with coolant. Alright, we reached the idling temperature. Let's check the radiator coolant level. We are at the right level. Let's put the cap back on. Here is the stages of flushing with distilled water for 4 times. And here is after flush plus cleaner and adding the coolant. These are easy steps for flushing radiator coolant if it looks dairy like this. Maybe yours doesn't need flush cleaner. If you like to see more about radiator coolant flushing, I did another video flushing my Toyota Camry without using flush cleaner. I will put the video in description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. As always, thanks for tuning in, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.